In E.11.1, we're going to describe the mechanism of acid deposition caused by the oxides of nitrogen and oxides of sulfur. So we're going to start off with producing, again, the hydroxyl um, free radicals that will be important for the next steps. Now, I've chosen this one here, but as you can see in, in our other one, E.10.2, we actually have another way to make hydroxyl. So if you want to memorize that way, that's fine. I chose this one because it's sort of one step. So you can imagine water reacting with the ozone, and when that happens, you can create a hydroxyl and oxygen. So what happens with those free radicals is if they encounter nitrogen monoxide, then it can create HNO2, and that can make us nitrous acid. And if it uh, reacts with NO2, then that can give us nitric acid. So those are both um, acids, you know, acids that can cause um, acid deposition. Now looking now at what happens with the hydroxyl groups with sulfur dioxide, for example, something released by burning a lot of high sulfur coal or diesel, uh, we end up with this free radical here, which will then react with oxygen in the atmosphere. And that will produce another free radical, but it will also produce SO3. And so this SO3 um, can also form our acid rain. So this SO2 and SO3, both of those can create acid rain by reacting with water. And we've looked at those equations before.